Hey guys, and welcome back to Nuclear Strike. When we last left off, uh, we were heading to the DMZ. This mission is just basically hell, and it's fun hell, so let's get into it. No, we don't want to load the game, fool. Fool of a took. I'm going to push start for the DMZ. Yeah, this level was an interesting one. I haven't played this game for months. Heavily guarded board is about to be crossed. At least it DMZ feels like it. Up strike net like a Christmas tree. Him's using the explosion as an excuse to invade South Korea. He's huh. acting swiftly before world opinion can change. You played this war game a thousand times before, Hack. You know what to do. I've alerted the Joint Chiefs. Strike Warrior is uploaded and armed. Okay, let's give our allies a hand. An invisible hand. Hmm. Ain't that always the way? An invisible hand. Well, well, well. This mission is chaos. And uh, I'm not very efficient at doing this mission, but we're going to give it a go. We basically start off straight away, and we are on a time limit. We need to collect Andrea. However, we need to set our forces up first. This mission, okay, this is hectic and relentless. It's just a basic all-out war. So what have we got here? We've got a BRDM2 scout car. Oh, we've already seen that one, I think. We've seen that. We've seen those. We haven't seen the Zeus yet. The ZSU, or Zeus, provides mobile air defense for armored columns. It has four 23mm guns and enough armor to make it a formidable opponent. Yeah, these things don't fuck around. Let's have a little look, shall we? <clears throat> this Zeus imitates the old Greek god, but he fires his lightning bolts up to the sky. Zap him before he zaps you. Yeah. These things in numbers can rain hell. So we're going to hope that we uh, hit him before he hits us. And we've got the BMP personal carrier. I can't remember if we've seen these before. This troop transport can operate on a chemical battlefield. It has a primary cannon and a highly accurate one-shot anti-aircraft missile. The BMP is prone to burn if hit with gunfire. Good to know. Here's one big young. Pop it when it's loaded and you'll light up the troops inside. Mm-hmm. Punch the hole, scoop the meat. And that's all we have for enemy uh, vehicles. So we've got to help our allies. Transmit orders to platoons of tanks, APCs, artillery, infantry, and support trucks to move them to a predetermined fire zones. However, uh, hover over a unit when they signal for readiness. Access the SMFD. Here's your assets. Two formations of M1 tanks, two formations of Bradley APCs, two formations of supply trucks, one of infantry, and one of MLRS artillery. You can direct them to any hot spot on your map. They'll beat feet and dig in. They're all combat hard. Don't squander them, Commander. Make certain and respond to changes on the battlefield. Yeah, there's probably like a really efficient way of setting these guys up, but yeah, they get squashed pretty much no matter what happens. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. And we also have the A-10X, which is the special vehicle for this mission. This thing is insane, and it's a lot of fun. Think of it as the like the Harrier on steroids. Um, however, it does chew through fuel a lot quicker than the Harrier. The A-10X Warthog is a prototype VTOL vertical takeoff and landing model with hovering capability. It has no winch, nor can it be rearmed or rearmored. Yeah, mm. Kind of interesting that they've just threw in a, a VTOL A10. I mean, why the fuck not? Imagine how lethal these things would be if that was really the case. I mean, they're fucking lethal anyway. But imagine, just imagine a VTOL version of this thing. This killer machine stomps tanks like beer cans. We only got one. So take off and land as much as you want. But remember, it can't be rearmed or rearmored. Mm-hmm. No, it's actually, it doesn't it say refuel. I wonder if we land, if it gets refueled again. Curious. Home base landing zones. Home base's local airfield. Alternate landing zones will be supplied with ammo and fuel as the battle progresses. LZs are for moving people and supplies around and getting your armor repaired. Keep them safe and secure. Mm-hmm. 
And then we've got Andrea Gray as a GBS newscaster. Andrea has been able to monitor events in and around the DMZ. She continues to provide late breaking intel via Strike Secure Comlink. Andrea could do it all, Commander. She can recalibrate a scud, drive a truck, run enemy vehicles, and a whole lot more. She's a huge asset. Underuse her, and we lose. Mm hmm. And in this mission, we have the uh, Comanche. This thing is a beast. This is your go to helicopter in the second game, actually. Um, jungle Strike. The Comanche has a smaller load capacity than the Super Apache, but it has stronger armor and greater stealth capability. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they mean by the stealth capability. Does it confuse and jink missiles more? I don't know. But it's... I actually prefer the Super Apache, but it's not bad. It's better than most of the other helicopters we've flown. The Comanche's built-in ECM kicks in when you change. Oh, there we the go. The enemy will fire where you are. The armor's super solid if they do get lucky. Yeah, but she's light on weapons, which is not good for this mission. Armor repairs, ammo, fuel. Okay. Now the intel. How? Tactical overview. There will be a variety of choices as to what to do and where to be. Threats will sometimes appear in waves. You cannot be in all places to do everything throughout the battle. Andrea can assist you in commando roles on the ground. You can redeploy small groups of allied forces to predetermined to predetermined hotspots. You can transport better weapons to various units. Strike will notify you when the enemy starts its main thrust for Seoul. Commander, exploit the forces under your command. You cannot win alone. Give them orders that use their skills. Yeah, this is that's where this mission gets a little bit chaotic. There's a few different ways you can play it. As I've said, in my experience, it doesn't matter too much. All we've got to do is hold the enemy back. Location overview. The demilitarized zone dividing North and South Korea along the 38th parallel is a desolate no man's land of barbed wire and minefields. Since 1953, these two nations have been locked in a state of suspicion and distrust. As Kim's military slowly deteriorates in quality, he will be tempted to use to utilize them before they are worthless. Forces on both sides brace for battle. The entire weight of the KPA will come down on the ROK US combined forces. It won't be pretty. Commander, we must hold them at the DMZ. Stop them before they can escape the southern boundary of the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Right, who? The Korean People's Army, or the KPA, must strike swiftly before the world's opinion and the brunt of US military might is brought to bear on the battlefield. If they succeed, the KPA will seize a sizable portion of the South of South Korea and its capital of Seoul. Expect rear, uh, rear area special force operations followed by massive armoured attack utilising underground tunnels. Yeah... Although the KPA is equipped with antiquated Soviet weaponry, they got a boatload of it. Plus, the troops are well trained and hard charging. Don't underestimate them. Yeah, that's our one advantage here: is the stuff they have is junk. But unfortunately, they have a lot of it. Let's start setting up anyway. So we have to collect Andrea, but we're not going to do that just yet. Get Andrea at Camp Kitty Hawk. Andrea will wait for you at this U.S. Camp on the DMZ. When you winch her aboard, you will receive further orders. Do not provoke North Korean response by flying into North Korean airspace. Commander, this isn't a shooting war yet. Routine should be sufficient. Don't provoke the KPA forces. That is a direct order. Andrea. All right, boss. Camp Kitty Hawk. Everyone here thinks an invasion is inevitable. They're on full alert. Pick me up. I want to do my bit. Get the lay of the land now, Commander. When this meat grinder starts up, navigation problems will tumble to the bottom of your priority list. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's our orders. But first, we need to set up our guys. Okay, we should be back now. So hopefully. hopefully. Right. Let's start deploying our guys. We've got MLRSs. Which are going to be quite useful. Now, it does mention we can outfit some of our guys with better weapons, which is true. We don't want to bother moving those, there's no point. Um, we can outfit. We're ready to rock, Commander. Say the word. Let's put those guys 
there. And one thing I do want to do, here's a little trick that will save us a little bit later on. We can change one of the signposts over here. And if we do that, then a load of the enemy tanks will go into the drink instead of uh, straight down to seal. Which is actually bloody useful. Right, the M1s are arriving on station. Good, good, good. Okay, so we can drop some... Uh, we have an infantry platoon in this, and we can give them body armor and bazookas. Which makes them so much better. So that's something that we're definitely going to do. Now the biggest problem we're going to have on this mission is the tunnels. The tunnels are a pain. Uh, we'll leave those there. It doesn't really matter about the supplies. The supplies dotted all over Roger, the map. Commander. Right. So Bradley's. Bradley APC's locked and loaded, Commander. Give us orders. Let's get those in there. Let's go outfit our men. There's also a hell of a lot of... These are the infantry. We need to bolster these guys up. There's also a heck of a lot of... Um, vehicles that we can try as well. Pretty much we can have a Bradley. We can have a MLRS. We can have an M1 tank. Blah, 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 blah. But they're not that useful, unfortunately. They're cool ideas to play around with. But they, they're really not that great. Now, there's some toys here that we can use in this base. Bradleys are arriving. Good. Come on. Grab that. We really, you really, really don't have a lot of time to fuck around here. I'm not kidding. Like, every second counts. So let's put those guys there. Right, now they have all their weapons and armor. Roger, Commander. Let's we are ready to deploy on your orders. Deploy those up there. That's fine. Um, now, we're going to grab some artillery shells from that base. And we're going to go flatten one of the tunnels. Because I do know where some of the tunnels are. Drop these shells at a tunnel entrance and detonate them with the chain gun. That's my plan, boyo. That's my plan. Because these tunnels will screw us over so badly. Especially this one down here. Their tunnels will also uh, bypass the enemy from all of our... Well, allow the enemy to bypass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll allow the enemy to bypass all of our forces that we've deployed. That is going to save us a lot of hassle. Because as the enemy comes down, they can use these tunnels to get past the middle of the map. And if you... It can still be done, but if you let that happen, man... It's challenging, shall we say. That's putting it lightly. Um, let's leave everything else there for now. There's a tunnel there. Let's go grab Andrea. And possibly redeploy some more guys. So where's she? There's also a quick winch here as well. Which we want. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, or well, we'll pick her up first then. There we go. We'll grab that as well. So what have we got here? Got some more armor. We're ready to rock, Commander. Say the Let's word. put the armor. Let's put that armor there. Now I want to go after the Gaskins. Gaskins have enemy. Oh, here we go. Commander, we've got multiple attacks all over the zone. I know. BMP, I know, buddy. Commandos, mini subs. They're hitting us from all directions. I'm linking data points to your SMFD right now, Commander. Right, let's deal with the mini subs first, I think. These mini subs are a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's starting. Monitor the military chatter. Alpha Bravo, repeat. Hostile subs in Southwest Sector. Alpha Bravo. Let's move on it, Commander. We're moving, we're moving, for God's sakes. 
Alright. Use our ground units to your advantage, Commander. Uh, I have. Let's wait for these subs to deploy. Because these will attack our bases, which doesn't really matter too much, but they will destroy a lot of supplies. Which sucks. Now, you can target these under the water, but you can't actually kill them uh, until they surface. At least I don't think you can. Uh, the problem with the Comanche, like I said earlier, is it just does not have the weapons. Here we go. It doesn't have the weapons. Come on, guys. Come on. Time is money. Come on. Alright, US bombers are scrambling. Bomber wing, Cisco 8 to DMZ. Confirmed that Kitty Hawk tripwire has been crossed. Nice. We are go to commence strategic bombing. Now airborne and underway. Good stuff. So they are getting ready. So we have 20 minutes before they get here. And we need to survive for 20 minutes before our bombers get here. Which... No, 25 minutes, sorry. And that seems like a long time. And hey, guess what? It is. It is a hell of a long time. Let's try and scoop up some fuel. Let's go up here, grab some fuel. We need to hit their scuds. Really need to hit their scuds. And then we can start shutting down their tunnels, which will be our next point of call. Tunnel commandos attacking. That's fine. Ah, leave them. Leave leave the tunnel commandos. We're going to go grill some scuds. And then we're going to pick up a commander. Who's going to tell us exactly where the tunnels are and whatnot. And that will... Checkpoint yeah. last chance has been shot up. Suspected that will help us. Agents heading north into DMZ and civilian vehicles. Okay, cool. Let's go hit the scud. Scud launch imminent. Hit it before it frags our airfield. Good shit, there we go. Commander. Scud gone. Let's go hit the other one. There are also some supply bases, enemy supply bases up here, which we need to hit. If we hit them, oof. if we hit them, I think it slows them down. Although I'm not sure exactly what destroying the bases does. The only thing I know about it is it's a good thing to do. Yep, they're gone. They're gone. <sighs> One last scud to frag. <sighs> right, let's avoid this like the plague. This place is really built up and dangerous. Okay. So where's the last scud launcher? There he is. He's gone. He's gone. Right. Good stuff. Infiltrator spotted. Unidentified vehicles heading Ooh. towards tank depot. Assume hostile. Alright, buddy. We got this. Now, what we want is this chap in here. We've already lost an M1. Shit. Hey, buddy. Is he not there? He's in one of these buildings. Heavy armor tanks advanced. Here we go. Bases. Here Take we go. Fast, right word, detects, massive tank columns. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna put a save state down here. Come on, where's the guy we need? Where's the guy we need? That's a weapon that we need. That's the extremely powerful weapon that we had before. Okay, I don't know where the guy has spawned to. That's not good, because that's not going to tell us what we need to know. Shit. I might have done that a bit early, but I thought you could. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start taking these guys apart. Oh. Oh. Now it's warning us of this guy. We're really stripping our armor away. 
He is up here. Yeah, we can't we can't grab him because we did that prematurely. That's really annoying, actually. Still, it's not the end of the world, so to speak. We just gonna have to be a little bit more careful, is all. Um, not happy about that, but what can we do? Right, let's remove these guys. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get down to the MLRS base. Now, Andrea can shut down a lot of the tunnels. There is one around here. But there should, somewhere, be a village. There it is. There's a power generator right here. Oh, I wonder if we... That's annoying. Shit. I wonder if we needed to be told about that before BMP's we can use it. Nearing... Okay, we got this. BMP's coming in. I know. Let's go bring the pain. I might have screwed this mission up already. Which, if so, will mean that I won't be uploading this game this week. Are opening up behind our forward positions. Yep, I know We're they are, buddy. Flanked. I know. Stop panicking. For God's sakes, man, stop panicking. We need these tunnels gone. At least as many of them as we can. Let's drop Andrea down. And our armor is also dead. She will shut the tunnels down. KPA vehicles near the swamp. Enemy column advancing through swamp, heading south. Why blast them when you couldn't jolt them? Yeah. Grab the power generator from the village and light them up. Okay, cool. So we can do that then. That's fine. Bombers 20 minutes away. Roger that. I'm heading the drill tank back into the tunnel. Give nice. me a second. All right, Andrea, you can have about 10 seconds. That's all we have to spare. Let's grab the fuel whilst we're here. Um, shit, there's so many enemies down there. That's fine. We are actually allowed to let quite a few of them through. But, it, yeah, it's still not brilliant. Now, where did she go in? She comes out up here somewhere. I think... Not gonna worry about those guys too much. And Cloud, can you stop creeping? There's ammo. Um, and we're next one we're gonna frag. Cloud, please, your claws are not making this useful. Thank you. Okay, let's just wait for her to respawn. Yep, she's up there. Let's go grab her. If you literally leave it more than half a second she will die that's just going to tell us that the enemies are charging down oh shit and that we need to stop them trust me we intend to let's get back over our side once we're back over our side we can start closing down some more tunnels um, shit, they're going to get out. Nothing we can do about it now, though. Let's go shut down the electric tunnel. Or the tunnel that we can use the generator on. And we can use the MLRSs to destroy one of their bases. We're really pushing for time. And we're letting a lot of tanks through as well, which is also less than ideal. There's the generator. Come on. Nice. Generator acquired. Let's go shut this puppy down. Good fucking night. That's one down. Let's go grab some explosives. And shut another one down. Although we could probably use Andrea again. Maybe. Let's 
see how we go. Trouble is, without that commander, I was way too early on that. Without that commander, I don't know where they spawn. Which is not great. Got some more shells here somewhere. Oh, they've already destroyed. They've destroyed it. So we're not going to be able to do it that way. Fuck. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to have to roll with the punches, guys. Alright, let's get out of shut this down. Yeah, you do that. Here they come. Here they come. KPA armored reserves are pouring in from the north. It's a meat This is where shit is about to get real. And it gets extremely real. Um, if we're not quick enough, we can fail this. See, think that's the other thing about this. It takes so long to fail it. You generally fail right at the end. Which is not great. It's really, really frustrating to make it all the way through the mission only to fail at the end. And I've had that happen two or three times just today. So, let's fight smarter. Come on, Andrea. Shut that thing down. I suppose even if we can shut some of these down, it will help. Ah, this is also good. We need to keep an eye on where that is. I'm not sure where Andrea comes out here. I think she comes out at the top again. Fuck off. You can see them start pouring in. We're going to have to transfer over to our... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I think she comes out here. We're going to have to transfer over to our um, A-10 in a minute. Oh, fuck. The adrenaline. I'm telling you, the adrenaline. Alright. What's waiting on her? I don't really want to leave where she is. Come on, lock on. Right. There we go. Where does she come out from? Back there, good. Because they have five tunnels, I think? No, they've got more than that. They've got a lot of tunnels. Way more than five. About seven, I think. Come on. Anywhere will do, Andrea. Okay, cool. Now, where was... Alright, let's take you out. You out. You out. Come on. Let's use as much of our equipment as we have here. That'll have to do for now. Let's head back to our neck of the woods. Bombers are 15 minutes away. Nice. Now, there was that. Can we not use that yet? No, I guess not. Right, that might be all the tunnels we can shut down then. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's all the tunnel tunnels we can shut down. Because we've lost our explosive ability. And for some reason she won't use that truck. You can use that truck to destroy them. So let's head back. And get those MLRSs moving. Now we are going to lean on these rockets as much as we can. But we are almost out of them. Which is not great. But we're just going to have to hold the line as much as humanly possible. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, dude. There we go. Right. Yep. Yeah. MLRS time. Let's bring the thunder. Now, this, uh, 
our limit of how many we can actually um, lose will start filling up, sadly, very, very quickly if we continue to let these guys through. Let's get our MLRSs mobilized. MLRSs, MLRS artillery reporting. hit that. Hit it. And then what we're going to do... Let's go destroy this guy up here. Can't really get to a lot of these in time. So the MLRS is firing. It will tell... Uh, we're already at 25%. Threshold released. Threshold. So let's go... Let's go get our A10. We're going to need it. The only trouble with the A10 is the fuel. The fuel really doesn't last very long. Which sucks big time. Already 25%. Fuck. That's okay. Now we have shut down a lot of their options. So, before I transfer over, I am going to save state it again. Just because I have literally run out of time. I need to make sure these save states are actually working. Yeah, they are. I was going to say, this uh, emulator has been giving me a little bit of grief today. So we do have a little bit of rocket ammo left in this bad boy. So let's take to the skies. This thing is a monster. 7,000 armor. I mean, you're never going to enemy ammo depot destroyed. Great. Once our MLRSs have reloaded, we need to take out their fuel depot. I, I really don't know what that does because it's not... You don't need to do it to finish the mission. I assume it slows them down or something. All right, those boys are ready for action right there. Let's see if we can get over here before... Yeah, they're reloading now. It'll tell us when they're ready to fire. We're just going to have to hope that our men can hold them back. At least to some degree. And Cloud, you're sitting on my headphone cable. Alright, they're gone. Are these guys ready to fire? They're not ready. No. That's fine. Let's go do some damage. Now, the problem with the A10 is it's actually quite awkward to fly. It's not like it doesn't react like the helicopter does. We're gonna have to try and stay middle of the map if we can. Now, the missiles on the A10 will knock the tanks out in one go as well. Which is really nice. They're not kidding when they say it stomps tanks like beer cans. Now, unfortunately, you can't destroy the tunnels in any other manner. But that's okay. Destroying those few tunnels definitely has helped, though. They're not pouring through at quite the rate that they can do, which is good. They have a long way to travel, which is nice. Alright, let's go back to our MLRSs. <sighs> come on, bombers, come on! Move your asses. And I think that was bad placement there, actually, on my part. I don't know if they're actually going to the... Right place. Yes, bombers are over the airspace. That's good. Ten minutes out, guys. Ahead. We're inbound to DMZ. Target coordinates confirmed. Hang tough. The cavalry's on the way. Ten minutes out. Got 10 minutes to hold these guys off. And that is certainly doable. I hope. Bombers, 10 minutes. Then we get a notification when they're 5 minutes away. 
and a notification when they're 60 seconds out. Alright, let's use our rockets here. New landing zone established. Nice. Come on, aim, you twat. Really? Right, new landing zone. We've established a new LZ in the south. New supplies now available. We can also evac wounded from there. Oh, yes. Man, they're spreading all over. Let's go center of the pack. Southwest. Ah, let's see if we can cap this guy on the way. Yeah, he's going to go straight for our tanks, which is nice. These fuckers destroyed our base, which is really not good for us. That's fine. Oh, man, look at them. They're pouring through. Men, hold! Hold the line! There's also uh, night vision goggles that you can get that highlights the tunnels. But... I think that's to do... Yes, the MLRSs are ready to rock. So... Let's go up here, sweep up and sweep back. Like I say, I really don't know what it does destroying those. But I know it's something we can do. And if it's something we can do, it's something that we want to do. Man, these tanks take so much. Right, center pack. Come on. Don't let any of them through. Or at least as few of them as possible, anyway. Yeah, this plane kind of wants to lean every time you stop moving as well. Which is not great. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. Let's get these MLRSs moving. MLRS are Take that out. That should hit their fuel supplies. I think I just blew up the bloody signpost, which is going to be counterproductive because now they're not going to drive into the water. I always like that. I like the way they just drive into the water like no shit's given. So dedicated to the cause. Come on, hit it really don't have time for the targeting system to fuck up here. Come on. There we go. Oh, not good. Seriously not good. Okay, good. Managed to wipe that entire column out. A few of them are getting through though. This is really not what we need right now. Enemy fuel depot destroyed. Cool. I'm hoping that makes them slower or something, but I'm not convinced it does. I assume it's good for some reason. Come on, let me know. Let me know that we've got five minutes left for the bombers. If we've got five minutes left for the bombers, I'll be happy. I'm not sure why these tanks are letting so many through, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, come on, tell me we've got five minutes left. You're done. Let's go stomp some tanks. Yeah, definitely being held back a little bit, but it's just not enough. Wow, it just took a whole volley of missiles. Back to the center. I might have missed the game telling me there's five minutes left. I hope I have. Come on. Yeah, we've got nothing that we can use to take that out, unfortunately. Come on. 
Come on, aim at him. There we go. Nice. There's a few of them still coming down here. They are still getting through. M1s, you're letting your side down. M1s should be eating these guys for breakfast. Like, seriously. M1 is one of the best tanks in the world. Up there with a the freaking T90 in the Challenger 2. Bombers are five minutes out. And our A10 is really low on fuel. It would have been, I am going to save state it there. It would have been really nice if we could refuel this bad boy. But sadly we can't. Because they give you so many like weapons and, and so much armor, you just can't get it to its full potential. Because of its fuel limit. But then I suppose really if it had the loiter time that it has in real life, it would probably this level would probably be a wrap. Like easily. Say so, this has been a sloppy performance, but I think we're gonna be okay. Until our fuel runs out on this thing. Once our fuel runs out on this thing, things are gonna get dramatically harder when we have to rely on the Comanche. <sighs> I'm not actually going to land this thing, we're gonna run it into the ground. Because by the time we've flown back, dropped this off, picked up our Comanche, we've wasted a lot of time. And we need this time to be killing all these guys that we can. We need to burn them all. MLRS is awaiting orders. Nice. Although I'm not really sure what we can hit with the MLRS at the moment. Probably just loads of tanks. Which might actually not be a terrible idea, to be honest. Come on. There we go. So, where are we at? Nice. Make it rain, baby. It's literally tearing these guys apart. Piece by piece. There are more of them slipping through down here, though. Too many. Two units of fuel left. Let's go back to the MLRSs. Yeah, I think a couple more are going to slip through. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's that fucker again. Never mind. Alright, we're back to the Comanche, guys. I'm not a fan of that. But, what can we do? We don't have a lot of fuel, but we can swing by the MLRSs and grab some more. So it's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway. Now these guns are supremely powerful, as we've seen. But we don't have a lot of them left. MLRSs are just up here. Let's see if we can reposition them. Uh, artillery reporting. Hit that. I don't know how useful it's going to be you hitting that, but hit it anyway. Let's rearm, reload. Okay, cool. Let's go swing up here, take these guys down. And then swing back to the main. I don't know why these guys are like turning around like that. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's go back to the center, because a lot of them are getting through there. We're being a very bad goalie right now. The word useless gets thrown around a lot these days, but I feel like we're being a little bit useless. No. Pummeling these rockets into the floor really don't want to be pummeling these rockets into the floor. We need to be pummeling them into enemy armor. Come on. 
come on. Fuck you, pal. Some more getting through, but that's okay. We can't be everywhere at once, and we cannot hold them all back. Bombers are 60 seconds out. Right, we've done this. Now they're 60 seconds out, I can start relaxing. Because I don't think we're even at 50% threshold yet. Fuel air bomb. Oh, we don't have the fuel air bombs. Sucks. Well, that's okay. The fuel air bombs aren't actually that great anyway. Come on. Nice. Just literally gutted that little lot. Oh, God, we're out. We're out of almost everything. We still have wingtip weapons. Cool. Actually holding these guys pretty well. Right, let's go back. We need ammo. Look at the enemies just flooding in. Now, as I said, if we didn't destroy some of those tunnels, they would have just, like, teleported to the bottom. And, yeah, man, when that starts happening, you're fucked. I mean, like I said, it can be done, because I didn't know when I first started playing this. You can shut the tunnels down. There we go, we've done it. It's a wrap. This is Cisco A. We have a visual. Targets are locked. Commencing bombing run now. Kick back and enjoy the show. Nice. I would love to see the casualty report for this. Go get them, boys. Ammo. Nice. Make it rain. I like the way they show that stock footage of a nuke going off. Put a best in the World War III. Evidently, that was Lamont's plan for Ken. Commander, return to home base. We have got Lamont's address. Now you can do that so much more efficiently than that. You can do it so none of these reach. If you destroy all of the tunnels, then that's it. Job done. But uh, obviously we didn't. I can't really remember how you destroy all of the tunnels. I think we just need to be quicker, to be honest. Anyway, job done, guys. That was a 45 minute mission, and I've still got another bit to add on to the beginning of this. Hell. Well, I won't tell if you don't, guys. Let's just keep it to ourselves, shall we? A little bit of extra time with each other. Our guys are just mopping up now. Yep, good. And I'm going to set it down and forget about this mission. We actually only have one level left. Well, technically two, but we're going to that as and when. According to ROK sources, the North Korean offensive was decisively halted in the demilitarized zone. Yep. Sources in Pyongyang confirm that South Korea was not responsible for the atomic blast that destroyed the inner city. Check it out, General. Strike Warrior works. Nice. It's not ready yet, Hack. We still need flesh and blood warriors. In fact, if I got a job for you. <laughs> what are you thinking, General? Mm -mm. Yeah, so that Strike Warrior might look familiar to some of you. Armageddon. And if it does look familiar to some of you, there's good reason. Because that was meant to be the vehicle that you were in, or well, going to be in, in Future Strike. But Future Strike was cancelled because EA are cunts, really. And they gave us um, Future Cop LEPD, which is with that vehicle. Um, Future Cop LEPD was a very, very good game. Uh, I loved it. But at the expense of another strike game? Well, guys, I know what I would have preferred. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We did actually get a really good game out of it, so... Never mind. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go on to the final mission of the game. So, whew, till next time.